Familiarity breeds contempt, they say. If that is the case, then people must absolutely hate the Land Rover Discovery Sport because it is absolutely everywhere. And Land Rover are pretty keen to keep it that way because they've recently updated it with new engines, a plug-in hybrid powertrain and an updated interior. Question is, is it better than a BMW X3, Audi Q5 or Volvo XC60? Let's find out. But before we do that, please take a moment to subscribe to the Car Gurus UK YouTube channel. Remember to tap the bell icon too, that way you'll catch all of our latest videos. We're not going to play a game of spot the difference with you because the visual changes have been minimal. There's new redesigned front headlights and rear lights. It's underneath and inside where there have been big changes. Okay, so first things first, one of the USPs of the Land Rover Discovery Sport is that it is one of the most compact seven-seater SUVs around. And that third row of seats is uh, normally here but they're missing in this car. And the reason for that is because Land Rover's engineers needed somewhere to put the electric motor and batteries. So if, if you go for the part electric P300E, it comes as a five seater, not a seven seater. At least there's still plenty of boot space and even more so when you fold the seats down. There's plenty of space in the rear seats too, and you can juggle the seats sliding them forwards and backwards depending on whether you would like more leg room or boot space and even in the completely forwards position rear passengers will not feel short change because there's still enough leg room and headroom is plentiful and look hardly any transmission hub down here so even middle seat passengers get a bit of leg room luxury up front, the dashboard has been treated to a significant restyle and we think it looks really good. The minimalist vibe is smart, but it's still easy to use. There are some touch pads for the air conditioning settings, but also some real rotary dials as well. This is the S trim, which is entry level, but hardly basic. You get dual zone climate control, heated electric leather seats and integrated sat nav in the rather excellent new touchscreen infotainment system. Move up to SE and you get upgraded lights, a power tailgate and a full digital instrument cluster as opposed to this weird half digital, half analogue. Top spec HSE gets adaptive cruise control, keyless entry and a camera based rear view mirror. All in all, it's very impressive and feels very well built, but there are some areas where it doesn't quite match up to a BMW or an Audi. Listen to this. Okay, I can hear some beautiful birds tweeting in the distance, but given my mic is here, you can probably hear the rattle of the seat adjuster. And that doesn't sound particularly premium, don't you think? Although if it's good to drive, maybe it's okay to live with that. When it comes to engine choices, there are two diesels to choose from. The first one has 161 brake horsepower and the second one has 201 brake horsepower. And there are three petrols ranging from 197 brake horsepower to 286. And all of them benefit from mild hybrid technology to boost fuel economy, apart from the lower power diesel, which is also the only one that has the option of front wheel drive and a six speed manual gearbox. All of the others come in four wheel drive and have a nine speed automatic gearbox. This though is the range topping plug-in hybrid version. It gets 305 brake horsepower for a combination of a 1.5 litre three cylinder petrol engine and a 108 brake horsepower electric motor, while the 15 kilowatt hour battery should be good enough for around 30 miles of electric only driving. When the mood takes you to drive vigorously, as with other Discovery Sport models, the P300e is deeply impressive. There's not too much lean of that tall body in the corners, there's plenty of grip, and the steering is genuinely excellent. It's intuitive without being hyperactive, and it makes it genuinely good fun to drive. With quite a lot of weight to haul around, most of the Discovery Sports range of engines have to work hard to get you moving. No such issue here. The combination of that willing petrol engine and the torquey shove of the electric motor means there's always performance on hand when you want it. 
As for more relaxed cruising, the Discovery Sport is quiet and comfortable. The suspension does a really good job of soaking up lumps and bumps on rough roads. And the nine-speed automatic gearbox changes gears so seamlessly you won't even notice it's doing it. In town, the 360 degree parking camera makes tricky car parks much less stressful. This car's also got the optional driver assist pack. Apart from adaptive cruise control, this also includes a rear traffic monitor, which is handy for reversing unsighted. You can do many day-to-day -day drives without dipping into any petrol at all in the P300e, but when you mix up the driving, we reckon you'll get about 35 to 40 miles per gallon, which is on a par with a mid-spec D200 diesel. Although if long drives make up a large proportion of your driving, then a diesel is going to be better for you overall. You don't need to drive these sorts of SUVs that far off-road, but Land Rover's reputation means it has to deliver off the beaten track. Fortunately, it does thanks to a lot of impressive sounding acronyms such as ATPC and HDC. You don't really need to know what it all means, save that it means a Discovery Sport can do all of this. So what do we think of the new Discovery Sport? Well, the infotainment system is up there with the best, the interior is stylishly minimalist, and it's great to drive. In fact, in plug-in hybrid mode, it is so accomplished, we think it's worth considering even if you're not a company car user. Still want that Audi Q5? But will it really tempt you away from the premium German SUVs? Tell us what you think of the Discovery Sport in the comments below. And if you're considering buying a used example or indeed any car, head to cargurus.co.uk to find lots of great deals from top rated dealers, including approved used examples.